That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love it. That's a huge left he just scored with. Kid Dynamite's combination punching working out well there. Big, big shot comes crashing home. He is not meant for life on the outside there, and he just paid the price. He goes down. Because he didn't make his mind up. If you're not going to work out in front, get to a distance where you're safe. He stood there at a bad distance. No man's land. Zoning in with the overhand left. Kid Dynamite's doing what every trainer wants. Big flush shot by the man. Oh, and there you go. Once again, he goes down. Can he survive this? Two, three, four, five. Romero's going to have to pull himself together here. Now he beat the count, but still a lot of work to do. Yeah, a lot of work to do. How about a return? What a big shot, and he goes down. It was a magnificent combination that put him down. I feel like you're going now to he play, has bro. to get up. I feel like you're going to quit if I beat you, bro. So I'm going to replay you, bro. I don't quit, bro. I don't know the way you're playing, bro. I feel like you're going to quit. <laughs> Win, but I gotta do this. Two, three, four, five, six. He went down from a big shot. Now he's got to have some big guts to move along. You're gonna fight. How about that left right there? Solid. And for the second time tonight, he goes down. Quit, 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 quit. quit. So I can message you and so it could hurt her. So it could hurt way more. Quick. Think about it, bro. If you quit, I'm gonna message you and that message is gonna handle her. Just letting you know, bro. He gets up after that punch put him down on the canvas. Now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy. Here, Romero's cut is now changing the course of this fight. Well, the fight is Did you see that? From absolutely out of nowhere time, to now on top of the world, he just oh, floored him with that punch. Short one, maybe six inches. <laughs> here knockout winner good evening everybody alongside teddy atlas i'm joe tessitore we welcome you ringside for a much anticipated bout let's set the table for you and get ready to dish up this big night of action evil ways is almost giving you the feeling here that he's completely indifferent to all the pressure i mean this is a guy that's been there done that and he couldn't care less about the pressures that are in front of him Romero's on his way to the ring, and you can just tell what kind of night he intends this to be. He's just brimming with confidence. Introducing first. 
His adversary, from Sacramento, the Man Romero! Round number one is now underway. All the talk is done. It is simply time to fight. Evil Ways has got a cut. It looks like it's below the eye, on the cheek, but it's something that needs to be monitored. Blocks that punch. Romero's on the bad end of a big hook upstairs. <laughs> to the head he goes with a left hand. Good flush shot by Evil Ways. Look at this, another power punch able to land. We're early on in this fight, he's going for it. Yeah, you wonder if he's got a call waiting outside. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with the counter punching. Well, the old times used to say when you calm in there, when you're controlling there, you can make him do what you want. He made him tie his shoelaces right there. Get you back off the rope. Good looking uppercut that time. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own a left hand scores. Clever move there. A little defense turns to offense. The counter punch by Romero. Romero's hit by that power shot. Combination punching is working well here. Final 10 seconds of round number one. Go, go. And this round comes to an end. Evil Ways is well, he's back in the corner, which is critical in terms of trying to stop the bleeding on that cut. But it's also critical because they need to put forth a new defensive game plan. Yeah, they have to make sure that they buy some time here and start moving their heads, using their legs, tying up a little bit, doing anything to kill the clock and not get caught on that cut anymore. Don't stop. Don't stop. We got to keep working. You can get ahead, but you have to keep working. Here we go, round two is underway. Blocking that punch, very good defense by Romero. <laughs> Committing to the body work now, he lands the right hand. Blocks that belt line well. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. That's the clean shot with the left hand that he was looking for by Evil Ways. Side to side. A good two-punch combo by Romero. Teddy, among the things that we're going to key in on here early on in this fight is the ability to go to the body very important because what it does is stops the ability of your opponent to defend the headshots takes away some of that head movement through the straight right hand but didn't score with it and you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head he got hit right there but he also gave one solid effort by the man Oh, uh, the old-timers will love that right there. The right hand and the left hook to the head. Good counter punch. Final 10 seconds of round number two. Evil Ways is starting to score at ease against his opponent there. 
anytime you can land a three punch combination, you're really hitting your groove. We come to the end of the round. And obviously, they're going to have to tend to that cut right away. How important is it that you have good faith in that cut man? Well, it's everything. The most important thing is what not to do sometimes, not just what to do. You know, you got to stop the fleet, you got to put pressure, you got to get the right chemicals in there, the right coagulants. But you don't want a corner man saying, oh my God, this is pretty bad. You know, you want him to be nice and calm because just what you said, the fight is looking at that corner man. And round number three is underway. Good block there by Evil Ways. He got hit, but he sends it right back. And now he's targeting upstairs. That is Boxing 101. A nice, crisp combination by Evil Ways. The man's the target of a hook. Scores up top with a left. Good job. It was such, it was fast, it was direct by Evil Ways. He's targeting that jab with the right hand behind it. ways as defense is paying off now halfway through this round Hit the elusive target with that straight right. Evil Ways is putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Keep your head loose. Keep it tight inside. Ten seconds to go in this round. He missed with that headshot. And that's the end of round three. One and one. Have to keep moving forward, all right? Yeah. Round number four is underway. Evil Ways has got to feel pretty good about where things stand right now because he's still very much in this fight. It's anybody's fight, an even fight on your scorecard. Yeah, I think actually it's going to become a fight of attrition. Whoever's in better shape because this is every round being contested. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counterpuncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. Very accurate two-punch combo by Romero. Romero scoring with that right hand. Now another left. See, that's the work they want to see with the right hand by Romero. Oh. <laughs> Jump on. Nice. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. Wash right hand to the body. An accurate left by Evil Ways. Evil Ways is tagged by that powerful hook. A shooting right hand by Romero. 
Fourth round now with its last 10 seconds. <sighs> and we come to the end on, of the round. On, Evil like Ways is cut man is going to earn his pay That's for sure. That is a bad gash. And I'm wondering what he's using in there. You know, you can only use certain things. Havertine, adrenaline, and thrombus. I'm wondering if he's using legal things right now because that's the kind of cut that tempts you to use crazy glue. Romero's punch didn't come close. That's what I like to see. Good defense just covering up down low. Great work offensively landing that combination by Romero. Right hand downstairs. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. That's a well-scored left hand by Evil Ways. Evil Ways has been doing a very good job landing that uppercut against his opponent. Teddy, if you're his opponent, you know that uppercut's coming. What should you be doing? Well, exactly. You should move your head a little bit. Slip a little bit. Let that uppercut miss you. And then there's going to be an opening to counter right away. Fill that hole, probably with a hook. Halfway into round number five here. That is exactly what the corner wanted to see. A good combination punch by Romero. What a hook by the man. Right hand, then a left hook to the head. Both land flush. A well-placed left hand up top. Good biting, snapping shot by Evil Ways. Evil Ways, his right hand scores well that time. Final 10 seconds of this fifth round. And that's the end of round five. Romero's coming off another close and competitive round, but still, Teddy, I think he's slightly down on the scorecards. Yeah, the key is not what you think, Joe, even though I love what you think, but the key is what he thinks. He has to know that. It's very important for him, and a lot of times, a guy under pressure wants to know what he wants to know. He wants to maybe think in his mind that he's ahead, and it's important that somebody gives him the news. Right on the mark with the hook up top. Lance flush with the two-punch combo by Romero. A well-placed, gutsy uppercut after being tagged. Evil Ways is showing us a real, real solid skill set here with his head movement. Teddy, how much of that is just natural athletic ability and instincts, and how much of that is being trained well? Well, most of it's trained well. If I take a guy off the street, Joe, and he hasn't been taught anything, he's going to throw punches. But usually he's not going to have a good defense. That's something that has to be attained. That's something that has to be taught. This guy has been taught good defensive fundamentals. Keep moving. Keep moving. Good right hand. a forceful two-punch combo by Evil Ways. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Good combination punching by Evil Ways. Goes up top with the right hand. Why does he take some chances now? You have to take a chance with this guy, all right? Keep doing what you're doing. Keep the jab pumping and throw the lead right hand, all right? You are winning this fight. Here we go. Action to start the seventh round. 
Romero is hoping to try to carry some of that momentum from the last round into this round. Now, he's down on your scorecard, but he turned the corner a bit in that last stanza. Well, you hear him talking about, you know, baby steps. You know, you got to crawl before you can walk. Well, right now, he's taking those little baby steps. He got one round under his belt, a good round. Steady the ship a little bit. Now go get another round. Looks to the head. He's committed to that left hand, and it's working out. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going up there. Gets rid of that body shot. At the halfway point of round seven. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. A classic one-two combo by Romero. He clinches when he gets to the inside. Good one, too, by Romero. Evil Ways is doing a good job tonight on the outside. He's able to score from the outside, keeping a safe distance away from his opponent. Good work on the outside from him. And that was set up by his inside fighting early, a place where, quite honestly, I expected him to be all night long. But now he's getting the privilege. He's getting the luxury. Relax. You're trying to throw your phone. Evil Ways is in position to grab himself a win here, Teddy. As we look at your scorecard here at the start of round number eight, he's up. He's been doing it just by applying himself. Yeah, by walking forward, but walking forward in a smart manner where he's effective. Inside, inside. Look at the accuracy with that hook upstairs. The man's jab can do so much there. He used it well that time. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. Nice work. Goes upstairs with a right hand, left hook combination. Halfway point of round number eight. Back to the bud. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. A little head hunting with the right. Right hand over the top, very accurate with it. Hits him in the mug with the right. Evil Ways has taken his man lightly because he is up on the scorecards, but you can see that he is being pressured and pushed. You know, he's in there with a real solid guy. I don't think he's taking him lightly. It's just that he's in there in the kind of waters he's never been before, deep waters, and he's swimming harder than he's ever had to swim before. Targeting that straight left hand. Left to the body. Evil Ways is coming through now beautifully. That's the combination punching he wants to put forth. And that's the end of round eight. One of his eyes is completely shut. They want this fight to continue on. They want to give themselves every chance they have to win it. What do they need to do? Well, what they need to do is be very calm in the corner, get pressure on that cut, get the right medicines in there, and maybe find a way to pull around in the corner somehow, dump some water, you know, in the corner where the referee has to spend a little bit more time cleaning it up. They want to get a little bit more seconds. Good action here tonight. Both guys bringing their best, and both guys meeting each other stride for stride, punch for punch.
Tough fight to score here as we're back underway. Attaboy. Romero's the victim of a powerful hook. The man's banged by a left hand. Scored well up top. Romero's trying to survive this. He is taking a beating right. Big shot there. He is not dead for life on the outside there, and he just paid the price. He goes down. Because he didn't make his mind up. If you're not going to work out in front, get to a distance where you're safe. He stood there at a bad distance. No man's land. Hi. Romero is now getting back up off the canvas. <laughs> Look at that! Wow, is this good stuff! What good stuff! He just scored the knockdown after being knocked down earlier! Joe, that's incredible, and the knockdown earlier actually set up this knockdown because his opponent, he got a little reckless, a little careless. And somehow, someway, he's gonna continue on here. And if he's gonna stay in this fight, now he's got to avoid his opponent like the Black Plague. Targeting a left hand down low. <laughs> the man's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. How about that left hand? Evil Ways is making for a trainer's dream right now. Picking his shots, Teddy. Selecting when, where, and being very accurate. Yeah, the old timers would say he's a real sharpshooter. That's exactly what he's doing. He's not missing much. Accurate shot. Straight right hand comes in. Right to the belt line. Comes right back with a shot of his own. Right hand over the top. Very accurate with it. Right to the head with that right. Last 10 seconds of the ninth round. Evil Ways is missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. End of the round there, a round in which we did see the knockdown. And Teddy, when a fighter comes back to the corner, having just been floored, typically, how are they acting? What are you seeing right now? Just imagine you just walked into a room and somebody hit you from behind. You drop. You're afraid to go in that room again. So put a light on in that room and explain to him why he got dropped. He will not be afraid to go back in that room. Oh! Romero is almost looking foolish that time he missed so bad. Guard your head! That's a flush shot, banking away those body shots with the left hand. Evil Ways is recuperative abilities being tested to the limit here. Just 60 seconds to gather yourself after being knocked down in the last round. Now we talk about the fighter, but it's important right now for the corner, for the referee, for the doctor to know that he does have those kind of recuperative powers. So they give him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe the ref gives him a little more time than he gives somebody else. Targeting that one, two. Romero's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for us. To the head he goes and lands well with the right hand left hook combo. The man's impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. Good flush shot by Evil Ways. And now targeting his opponent with the over. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. Oh, and now the real test. Can he get up after going down a second time? Four, Come on, five. 
Romero is up from the knockdown, but what we really want to look for is how he reacts in the coming moments of this fight. The man's got to be really careful here, Teddy, that I has gotten to a point where this fight could be stopped at any time. Well, the key is that it's above the eye, so of course it's impairing the vision. The blood, when it trickles down, he can't see. And that's what the referee's going to be looking for. And for the official judges' scores, let's send it up to the ring. A well-deserved win by Evil Ways. Unanimous decision, say the judges. You're going to have your eyes closed and see that one, or almost closed. It was a good one indeed. And for Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time at the fights.